What's up, guys? I am Jin Jin. Please tune in to Walk the World every Monday at 10:30 p.m. only on TVN. Very fun. Takes up. Before that, we're gonna wait for someone who's gonna join us in Hong Kong. Oh, I wonder who it is. Hey, there he comes. Hello, Jinjin. How are you, man? I'm fine. Hello, I am Eric. This is my name, Jinjin. Jinjin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hey, this is my friend, Jinjin. Yeah. This is just Eric. Oh, just Eric. Hello. Not not friends. Okay, not friends, but no, no, he is. A chef, mm -hmm. okay, who won a major contest in oh. Canada. We have a mission. We're gonna find Chinese influence food, not just in Hong Kong, uh -huh. but all over Asia. Oh my and god! And you're gonna do it with us, right? Yeah, I'm so excited to join you guys. Well, let's not wait. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. This is Victoria Harbor, Pier 10 to be exact. This is where the original ships and immigrants landed, bringing with them ingredients and culinary culture, which influenced the dining scene we have in Hong Kong today. Wow! Check out that crowd over there. Do you know what that event is? That crowd is the Hong Kong Wine and Dine Festival. So every year in October, Hong Kong has a huge gathering of international cuisine, and of course, also the local favorites. Now this is where we're going to start our journey. What better way to learn about the Hong Kong food scene than an international food festival? Are you guys hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Well, yeah. let's go and eat. Let's go. Woohoo! This year marks its 10th anniversary of festivities. There is no better way to start finding for inspiration on my journey than being with like-minded people, foodies, fellow chefs, and restaurateurs. And I can tell you, you're going to be really impressed because there's so much to offer here. It's a celebration of food. Like this is what Hong Kong loves: food. Okay, so you are in the right place. Yeah, I love this place. Ah, 여기 일단 분위기가 너무 좋고 정말 페스티벌이라는 말이 정말 잘 어울릴 정도로 굉장히 넓고 즐길 수 있는 게 굉장히 많은 것 같아요. So right now we're in the wine section right here. So Hong Kong, you can drink all you like. You don't have to pay tax. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, don't you wish that happened in Korea and Toronto? <laughs> you can That's why Elvis is an alcoholic. <laughs> hey, look at this, hey. Okay, so. Okay. All right, so tonight you're gonna be like drunk. <laughs> Okay. Are you over 18? Yeah. You over 18? Yeah. Okay. The first thing you do when the wine's in the glass is you smell that bouquet. Okay. And then you swirl it a little bit. Okay. For the bouquet to open up, maybe to breathe a little. Okay. Then you gulp it down. <laughs> bottoms up. Better than soju? Yeah, better than soju. <laughs> what happened to bottoms up, dude? <laughs> Fire. Oh. That's good. Fire is always good. <laughs> Fire is always good. Well, amazing. Wow. Okay. Now, champagne to me is so universal. Chinese food is celebratory. So you celebrate with Chinese food, you celebrate with champagne. So therefore, champagne is perfect with Chinese food. Okay. Cheers, guys. All right. We drink to the Hong Kong wine and dine. Hey. 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 세계 각지에서 이제 많은 음식들이 이렇게 한 곳에 모여 있다는 것 자체가 일단 너무 놀랍고 멋있고요. So well, they have the classics like uh, the curry fish balls, the Chinese egg waffle. You're gonna find everything there, okay? And I can tell you there is also a surprise for you because there's quite a few Korean offering as well. There it is. All right, this is Michelin rank kimbaps. Wow. It's much better than Korea. Much better than Korea? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kelly. 
Gary, he said much better than Korea. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Now, this is Hong Kong. You have a selection of everything. Look at this. No. You have Chinese. Chinese. You have French. French. And you have Thai. Thai. Oh. This is what Hong Kong is all about. Diversity of fine cuisine. Okay, you're the guest. First okay. choice for you. Mm. Okay? I want the squid, so yeah. he gets a crab. Yeah. <laughs> this herb crust balanced perfectly. It's so amazing. Wow. Well, I see you licking your fingers. <laughs> the squid, it's grilled to perfection, okay? It's crispy outside, it's tender on the inside, and the sauce, you know, you got the lime, you got the fish sauce, you got the chili, okay? I feel like I'm in Thailand, but I'm in Hong Kong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cheers. Wow. Mm. So tasty. Yeah. Taco with bulgogi. Mmm. Mm. It's so amazing. Mm. Okay, drinks, guys. Oh, thank oh. you. This year, Wine and Dine has a new section. It's called Coffee Fiesta. So here, you get a selection of a lot of the coffee places in Hong Kong. And you can see by that line there, it is really popular. I can tell you they're also being very innovative. So you got your plain black Americano for me. But for you, this is coffee with tonic. Tonic? Ah, yes. I know tonic. Just tonic, no gin. Oh, okay. <laughs> so don't put that smile in yet. <laughs> and this one, cold brew jasmine tea mm, with salt. I don't think I've ever had salt in my tea before. Wow. All right, well, yeah. cheers, cheers to coffee. Yay. And tea. Chicken rice, really popular in Hong Kong. Of course, it's popular all over the world. And this one in particular is Michelin rated and it's from Singapore. And guess what? We're going to Singapore next. So you know what we're going to do. We're going to compare the one here versus Singapore. Ooh. Wow. Amazing. Smell that, so smell that, man. Let's dig in. We got to try the rice oh, let's first. Dig right? in, let's dig in, let's dig in. I always try the rice. Yeah. Well, I'm going for the chicken. Wow, rice wow. perfectly cooked. You got that right amount of al dente. Yeah. That nice hue of uh, chicken throughout the whole rice. It's fantastic. Wow. Okay, I can tell you, this is going to be pretty hard to beat, okay, in Singapore. So I'm really looking forward to going to Singapore. Uh, I can't go to Singapore, I'm sorry. I have a friend in Singapore who's gonna take you guys around. Okay? Fantastic. But when we come back to Hong Kong, we're gonna see you again. Call me. Okay. 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 Hey, man. Thank you okay. so much. Hey. Nice to you, man. Nice to right. meet you, too. Okay. Right. Okay, let's go. 정말 오늘 이렇게 와가지고 홍콩 바다를 등지고 막 와인도 마시면서 여러 가지 분위기를 느끼면서 굉장히 즐거운 추억 만든 것 같습니다. We had a fantastic trip all through Southeast Asia. Oh, really? Singapore, Singapore. Indonesia, Indonesia, Philippines. Oh. Try all kinds of great dishes, mm. lots of great inspiration. Yeah. You learned a lot, didn't you? Learned a lot after mm. eating it. Novo, uh, caldo, caldo, lumpia, pempek, oh. guantong chakume, all fantastic dishes. And don't forget lo hei and bakute from Singapore. So, so we're yeah. back here, yeah. and we want to eat in Hong Kong again. Oh. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Really? Yeah. I mean, you, you look hungry. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the place I'm talking about. Oh. Mm. It's a very, very popular place in Hong Kong. And you know, Hong Kong, we just love dim sum. Oh. It has one Michelin star. Really, really nice dim sum. Oh. Let's go. God. Let's go. Oh, hey, there's Chef Mac oh. now. Hello. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. 
This is so crispy. Mm. Just all the textures is perfect. The sauce isn't too thick. Just the perfect consistency. The outside, like you said, very crispy. But the bread itself, so soft. What is inside here? Char siu. Inside is, of course, the famous Hong Kong barbecue pork, oh, char siu, yeah. and also his secret sauce. Ah. <laughs> char siu pao is so juicy and sweet. Hey, let's dig in. <laughs> okay, can't wait. Perfect with this dim sum. Sometimes you have frozen shrimp and it's a bit mushy. Mm -hmm. This one, the, the shrimp has the perfect bite to it with that delicate pasta surrounding it. Mm. I'll tell you, for me, it's always the pasta. Something very, very simple, okay? Very important, first of all, to get the right thickness as well because, you know, if it's too thick, it becomes, you know, chewy, gooey, okay? And if it's too thin, it'll break. Siu mai, to me, is one of the most difficult dim sum to perfect, okay? You know, you have pork, you have shrimp, you have mushrooms. The ratio, okay, every chef has their own secret. So I don't think it's gonna divulge it to me, unfortunately. I tried. But for him, a good standard would be first, when you eat the siu mai, you smell the, it's fragrant. Of course, you know, this is fresh out of the steamer. So you can really smell that flavor of the ingredients. And then next, you bite into it. And it has to be smooth. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Definitely nailed the ratio. Again, like you said, the pork is so smooth, but again, it still has that perfect bite from the nice fresh shrimp, I presume, again. So again, uh, dim sum and great dim sum all comes down to texture, and this nails the texture for me. I can't explain. He's speechless. <laughs> so good he's speechless. I agree with Chef Mac and also Eric. Today, I had in my mind three perfect dim sum, and I am inspired. I'm inspired, okay? I'm inspired from what I've in and I'm inspired from what Chef has told me. Uh, I love all dishes, but I have to pick one. I will pick chashu bao. So tomorrow, I'm gonna make my own version of what I've learned today. Oh. Okay, extreme dim sum. That's great. Okay. And you two are gonna help me. I can't wait your okay. <laughs> dim sum. I can't. Well, you have to wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Wow, that was great. Right? Oh, awesome. Look at this. You want something sweet? Yeah, I love sweet. Dessert? Yeah, dessert. Okay, I now, love it. This is famous in Hong Kong. Mm. It's called wife cake. It's fresh, fresh, hot from the oven. Oh. Can I try? Please. So sweet, so warm. It makes think about Hong Kong. Are you hungry? Yeah, stay <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Let's get going. We got date with seafood. Look at this, look at this, man. This is a treasure of seafood. You know, I've been coming to this place for 30 years, and I tell you, they have everything here. Now tell me, Eric, I'll let you choose first. What do you want? I definitely want some beautiful prawns. Prawns? Yeah. Okay. I see a ball. Okay. Okay. Wow. So, kiss oh. look at that. Live. live. See it live? Is that enough? Enough? I think that's enough for us. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. Your turn. What do you want? Avalon, jumbo. Well, you had your pick, a prawns. You had abalone. Okay, I tell you what I want. Now I want a nice fish. You like fish? Yeah, I love fish. Well, really? get one. Really? Get one. <laughs> Go, get it, get it, oh. get him, right there, right there, right there, get him. Come on, get it. Hey. Hey, he's good, he's good. First try, good job. You're good. Yeah. So we went shopping a bit earlier at the market. Well, it's all here. Oh. The fish, the shrimp, and remember what you requested, the yeah. abalone. Abalone. Okay, very far away, because I don't want you to touch it yet, okay? Oh. So we'll start with the shrimp. 
Uh, okay, now, this is Hong Kong, we eat with our hands. Oh, yeah. First of all, we open this, mm -hmm. okay? And the first thing we do, I know it looks kind of not refined, mm -hmm. but we, we suck the head. Oh, I like that. Yeah. No, we suck the head. You don't have to swallow it. Okay, but it's okay. <laughs> Good for your complexion. Calcium, you know? And then you, you know, go like this. Now next, so I put this in front of me because this to me is really what Hong Kong's all about. This is cooked, what they call Wu Fai, which is, means classic. So they use pork, mushroom, and look at these, they use mandarin peel. Now I think the mandarin peel, a lot of time, is to rid of the fishiness. The pork is to give it richness, okay? It's finding the mushroom some texture, okay? So, dig in. Since you're a guest of honor, oh my God. you get the cheek, okay? Oh, thank you. You get the cheek. He's nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he gets the tail. It's okay, still like the strap. <laughs> All right, okay. All right? Now for us, for me, the best part is the belly. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Pork and fish, perfect combination. It's so great. Wow. Last but not least, your request, uh, abalone. Abalone. Now, abalone is a luxury in Hong Kong. Usually, they steam it and braise it. But this restaurant, okay, they make it spicy with garlic and chili. The spice, the garlic, I'm speechless. So great. This is the first time I've had abalone deep fried, actually. I've only ever had it steamed or braised. I love the texture. It's almost like a, a slightly firmer scallop if you've never had it, but it, it's great. We got so many things we still have to do. Explore Hong Kong, taste a lot more dishes, then the final cook-off. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready to eat? I'm ready. Are you ready to explore? Right on. Let's go. Hey, guys. Hey, Alvin. Hey, man. Good morning. We're here at the Wall Village in the New Territories. Yeah, yeah. And this place goes back over a thousand years. Wow. It houses five original clans. Now we're gonna meet one of the clan members, yeah. personal friend, William. Really? He's gonna take us to eat. What kind of? What kind of food? Yeah. It's Poon Choi. Oh, Poon Choi. Poon Choi. Do you know Poon Choi? Yeah. Layered. Hey man, he did his homework. You obviously <laughs> did. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm still hungry. You're still hungry? Yeah, You're I'm always hungry. hungry. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Straight up. Hello. Hey, Hi. William. Morning. Hey. Hi. My name is Jin Jin. Hi, Jin Jin. Hi, Eric. Nice to meet you. Hi, Eric. Welcome to my home. Ah. <laughs> and actually, my great great grandfather built it. <laughs> Next door is the guest house, and he has a huge kitchen. And we used to cook and serve our guests like. Sir Hotong, very important man in Hong Kong in the last century. I told you yeah. the right place, right? Oh, okay. okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay. okay, let's go. Have some pun choy. Yeah. Wow. Well, you see, you know, this actually is a decoration. The core of pun choy is underneath it. It's a very unique dish in the fact that it has layers of food. Typically, you want to eat everything at once, but pun choy, you actually layer at a time. 
Food means the basin. Okay, choy dish food. Uh, the bottom turning, and then on top of that is the dry pork skin, dry scoop, and then pork. And Pun Choi actually has many legends. Mainly the legends was related to so the last emperor of the Song Dynasty. I found out actually in all over China, especially in the hill tribes, when they go to the graveyard to pay respect to the ancestors, then they would bring the ingredients and cook it in front of the tomb and then eat it together with the ancestor. And we still do that in Hong Kong in our village. Well, there is a philosophy in it. I can tell you the philosophy is we're hungry and we have to eat, so let's right, do go it. Ahead. <laughs> let's go. Jin Jin, how much can you eat? Everything. Oh, everything. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a Kong the eel. Wow, yeah, the eel is, is extremely good. I'm surprised how moist it is, but the outside still stays very crispy. Jinjin, what yeah. do you think? So far from the top, what's your favorite? This one. Ocean eel. Ocean eel. It's yeah. so expensive in Korea. It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, have another one. Have another one. <laughs> okay. Have another one. Okay. Have another one. Thank have another you. One. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is obviously from a dry shiitake. The flavor of the shiitake, okay, is still very, very apparent, but enhanced by the meat. Okay, this <laughs> is my favorite. Simple mushroom. Oh. Hey, I see we're getting to the second layer of the pork, right? Right. Uh, so is there a particular part of the pig that you'll use with Bun Choi, or are you guys... Uh, well, or? traditionally, it should be the belly. Okay, first of all, the first layer was more decorative. Yeah. Second layer, very hearty. Mm -hmm. Guess what's in the next layer? Ah, ojino. Ojino. Yeah, ojino. Okay, so this is the best part. Yeah. That's for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall we go on to the next layer? This is soya skin. Mm. I think this is the perfect layer because it naturally it, it, it just soaks up all the all the sauces. So, so to have this underneath the juicy pork, I think it's perfect. And if you have another skin. What do you think that is? Pork skin? Yeah. Oh, oh really? Dredgy Oh, what? Dredgy is pork? Yes. Kopdegi is skin. I think this is good for my skin. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. I, I think everything in Korea is, is influenced by cosmetics, but anyway. <laughs> Chinese radish. Have we made it to the last layer? Will yeah, it is. Mm. Imagine if you have like liquid leaves vegetable, you can it cannot last uh, up to two hours. But with this, it can last for days. Uh, mm. So you know, I know that you have this definitely in Korea. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Moo. Yeah. Moo. Mm. Yeah. Moo. Mm. You really? Yeah. Just moo. Oh, 일단 푼초이라는 음식이 거의 한 12분 정도 되는 그런 되게 큰. 밥인데 어떻게 보면은 그걸 네 명에서 그걸 다 해치웠다는 거를 저는 아직도 믿을 수가 없는 것 같아요. 진짜 네명다 너무 잘 먹었고 하나 하나 음식이 너무 잘 맞아서 저희한테 그리고 너무 맛있어서 그걸 다 해치웠는데 아직도 믿을 수가 없네요. 그걸. Now I know that you are an expert in food, not just in the Wall Village, but all around Hong Kong. So I want you to be at my final cook-off, where I take the inspiration that I've learned and I create a special dish. Can't wait. <laughs> Elvin is always a surprise to us. Well, I can taste. We're not finished yet. Let's go, boys. Okay. Let's go. Uh, so he tasked us to make the pork layer of the pun choy dish. Ah, pun so we're going to turn it into a pork siu mai. Oh, siu mai. Here you have some nice pork leg. Mm. You don't really want to use a meat grinder just because the texture will actually change. Fresh shrimp, of course. We don't want it too small because you want that nice tender plump piece of shrimp when you mm. bite into the siu mai. So this is good enough. And then we're going to add some mushrooms. Mm, mushrooms. Because the pun choy has mushrooms, a very key ingredient. We just take off the stem. So now all we have to do is season it. Mm, We're going to use this beautiful light soy sauce, our sesame oil. And then this is a very crucial ingredient. Um, it's cornstarch. So it also helps tenderize the meat no. and helps bind everything together. Just like this. Yeah, you want to go really aggressive? Yeah. Yeah, don't be afraid to get messy. <laughs> you really want to go 
That's something just like slam it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, be angry. Be angry. There, 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 <laughs> good. There's still one more ingredient. We're gonna pay homage to the pun choy and use a dried oyster. Mm. And this will also add some great umami to the top. Mm. It's ready to be steamed. Oh, that's great. I have to go to downstairs for greet the guests for tasting. So, see you later. All right, I'll see you later. Right. Thank you. some basket in front of you. Instead of chicken, we have an egg to make it very luxurious caviar, okay? The second level is pork. I didn't do it. Him and Eric did it. So if you don't like it, don't blame me. <laughs> well, the next level is the bean curd, pork skin, cuttlefish, all cooked in that lovely fermented red bean curd sauce. The last level is about daikon, so Daikon pastry, you have a lot of so black truffles. So, Amazing. Okay, please enjoy. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much. Okay, let, let's start from here. Yeah. It's so nice. Mm. Wow. But I found the mixed choice very nice. Mm. You know, I, I, I can't really believe you know, that can be accomplished. Mm. So let's move on to the second one. Second one. To your creation. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous. It's good. No, really? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the next dish is inspired by a vinegar. Six spices in the vinegar. So the ginger is found in these small cubes of terrine uh, and pitch water. Of course, the start of the show, the pachan vinegar. Uh, I have not treated the vinegar because I'm treating the vinegar with a lot of respect because it's very, very fragrant. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. I can taste the egg. What we have here is a Valentine of wild Canadian cod stuck with Hunan ham. A little bit more luxury. Very, very classic. Wow. 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 I'd love to take a picture of it. <laughs> oh, oh, you smell that aroma of white truffle. Please enjoy. Uh -huh. oh. Thank you so much. Amazing. Love it. Awesome. It's freezing. I heard about white truffle, diamond in the kitchen. Yes, diamond. Diamond, yeah. yeah. Yes, it so, is. Yeah. Is this, is this your first time having white truffle? Yeah. I think you're lucky yeah. to be under Alvin's hands. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoyed it much. Amazing. We learned so much. <laughs> Um, I would like to thank my distinguished guests for giving me inspiration, knowledge, and I thank them for giving me company. Uh, so thank you very much. For thank you. My Before we finish, I'll give you a present for you, Alvin. Oh, thank you. Uh, can I open it? Yeah, of course. Wow. <laughs> That's hand cream. Hand cream. Well, I can tell you, look at, look at my hand. That's what I need. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I'm really touched by your cuisines. I learned about a lot of things in this trip in Hong Kong. So, so much thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.